why, in your opinion, in your opinion, why is it so vital to learn the Word of God and not just, as you said, have an inoculation? It's a transformation. Yeah. When I was a young Christian, um, I was given an acronym for the word Bible. Basic instructions before leaving earth. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. That's basic instructions before leaving Earth. And to me, you can't interpret what's happening in this world accurately apart from understanding God's Word. And I think particularly in the time in which we live now, yes. where we are seeing our culture and the lack of morality and the increase mm -hmm. of evil, changing or increasing at such a pace that without seeing that God's plans are are working out which we can see as we read God's Word right. and as we yes. look at his prophecies and when we see that nothing is a surprise to God and right. when we know his word we can have peace even though there is nothing but chaos and misinformation and gaslighting and whatever else you want to call it right. happening within our world it gives us a plumb line um, there is no plumb line in the world today yeah. That's right. but God's word is that plumb line that helps us to not only find direction but to be still and be peaceful and to know that we all are going to live eternally somewhere Yes. And we determine our own destination. And God he allows us to do that. And He allows us. He gives us free will to make our own choices. And studying God's Word helps us to make choices that benefit us, that give us peace and hope. And I can't imagine life without knowing Jesus and His Word. I, I agree. Either. I agree. <laughs> and that plumb line... If you think you know the Bible, I have found, the more right. I study it, you're constantly surprised. Mm -hmm. You either right. forget something or mm -hmm. it hits you in a different way, and that plumb line does not move. Right. Culture tells us that it moves. Yeah. Well, it, it's that, that illusion. You have your truth, I have my truth. Right. And Jesus yeah. says, I am the truth, <laughs> the way, and right. the life. <laughs> and people don't like that word evil. Right. But that is what this world is about. The Bible says this yeah. is things that will happen like right. this. Right. right. And I think when you read the Bible and know the Bible, you see that there, the battle is not between political parties or things right. of this world. The battle is a spiritual battle. Yes. And we yes. fight with spiritual weapons, and we can't fight and have perspective without having the, the perspective of God's word and that is right. so true. Yeah, so true. It's a survival necessity. <laughs> it is, and I, I remember C.S. Lewis writing something about um, we are, as you already said, we are eternal beings. Yes, and people don't seem to really understand that you are going to be living out of this body far, far, yeah. far longer, a million years, a yeah. trillion years. And you have to decide how and where you want to be when we leave this body. Yeah. And you have that one chance. Yeah. Right. You don't get to make that second chance. You have to choose now. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do? Yeah. You're yeah. going to go to Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, I, where, where and when does this happen? Yes. Um, we have been meeting for many years at Hilltop Community Church, which is right across the street from Target. Mm -hmm. And um, we meet on Thursday mornings from 9.15 to 11.15. And you can sign up online. Just go to communitybiblestudy.org. Mm -hmm. yes. And they'll have a little tab to, you know, click for the the CBS class that's near you and so you can sign up online very okay. easily. Yeah. Don't sign up for one in Los Angeles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that but, would be quite the commute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and some people say, oh, I can't do Bible study because I travel or I, I, I'm going to miss so much. But we... Um, 
have all of, of the teachings are online so that if you're traveling you can do your you can even access nice. the study online you can get the teachings online so you can so you don't even have an excuse for saying oh I'll get back to it right it's right there for yeah. you okay. no excuses yeah no excuses yeah. No excuses. <laughs> <laughs> and I think in the times in which we live you see so much anxiety mm -hmm. so much um, uh, how to put it like people are on their last nerve <laughs> you yes. know just right. just just stressed they're out. so stressed so ready to um, feel great angst and suicide rates are increasing and Absolutely. drug use is increasing and if it doesn't touch us personally it's going to touch those around us yes. and we can only share what we know to be true for ourselves mm -hmm. and the world needs jesus amen because sister. he alone can give answers to the issues of today that is so true and and i have to say uh the christian women that i have met at, at cbs it is life-changing. I mean, it's such a support group, but there are women from Minden, Garvin, oh, yeah. Carson City, Lake Tahoe, Dayton, yeah. Fernley, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. and Reno, mm -hmm. and Reno mm -hmm. all converge mm -hmm. on Thursday mornings yeah. Yeah. for Bible study to learn the Word of God yeah. and to pray for each other. Yeah, last I did the stats. I haven't didn't haven't done it for the last year, but we had 28 different churches represented. We have a lot of women who are unchurched, and they come to CBS and count that as their church, which I don't think is a great idea because I think you need a home church you very, do. <laughs> very, <laughs> very, <laughs> very definitely. But fed somehow. But it's a start. It's knocked over my water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a start, and yeah. so. Um, yeah, I think it's a very good start. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's a wonderful start. And um, just really quick before we wrap up, um, it is Thursday morning. So mm -hmm. women that are still working, you know, that doesn't work for them yet. But that's how I was introduced by a friend who was a mom helper in my classroom. And she kept hammering me, you know, you got to come to CBS. Yeah. I'm like, well, as soon as I can, I will. Well, I do have a comment on that, is that we do have two Zoom classes. Oh, and yes. we're, and we're for, so for those people, we have some women from Rhode Island that are, you know, in our Zoom class. And, and so, yeah, we do. The people who knew somebody and they moved. And we have a couple of people who, one moved to Florida, one moved to Tennessee, and they're still doing the Zoom class. So we, right now, we have two morning Zoom classes. And we we hope to have an evening Zoom class in the fall. Okay, and so, that'd be great. So that Wonderful. would accommodate okay. those who are working and are um, needing an evening class. So we okay. haven't, the Lord hasn't shown us who that person is going to be yet, but we're certainly hoping to have that as okay. well. So if this has yeah. touched Wonderful. you and yeah. and you're interested, but you're not available in the mornings, yeah. keep up hope because it looks yeah. like maybe that Or, or you coming. can say, you can go to the to register and say, I need an evening Zoom class. Okay. Yeah, I think the more interest you get, the yeah, yeah. more like right. that. Yeah. Fantastic. Awesome. And 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 the, again, I'm, I, I think all these things. The evening, the Zoom classes are pretty much basically just the core group. They are. So, yeah. So, so if you're group Bible it, study. yeah, if you're on Zoom, you you will. Um, have the book mailed to you or you can do it online and you would access the teaching on we have a, a website Fisher website and you so you get a uh, password to Fisher when you're a member you can go on Fisher you'll get the openings and the teachings and all of that is online so wonderful okay. yeah all right. right. Well, Connie, thank you so, so much for coming to visit with us this morning. Oh, my pleasure. It's been a blessing. Love to talk about God's Word and community Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> She's an amazing speaker, too, I might add. So, oh, yes. Okay. If you are interested, um, go to the website or contact Sherry or I, and we'd be glad to help steer you to Absolutely. that resource. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, Hope thank to you. see some of you in the fall. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, this is Summer Conversations with Mary and Sherry, and we hope you tune in next time. Thank you.